we are going to be creating a lady slipper artwork. Use this drawing guide to look at if you get lost or stuck during the demonstration. We are going to start with our name and our teacher's name on the back of our paper. Then we're going to flip it over so that we can start to draw. Remember, use this drawing guide if you get stuck. We'll start with four fingers from the top of the paper and put a dot in the middle of your page. Then we're going to draw a circle that's about the size of our thumb or a gumball. Then we're going to draw a bigger raindrop shape or oval kind of shape underneath it. You'll notice what kind of number this looks like. It kind of looks like a number eight. Then you can add some details. You might wish to add some polka dots on the circle part and then some curving lines following the shape on the bottom part. Next, we're going to draw the flower petals. We'll start with the one on the top. Curving up and out and then curving back in. This also kind of looks like a raindrop. Then we'll do the ones on the sides, which are going to be a little bit longer and skinnier than the one on the top. There should be three flower petals. You can add some detail. And then we'll draw the stem. The stem, we're just going to draw two lines really close next to each other all the way to the bottom of our page. Then you can draw the two long leaves on each side. Lady slipper flowers have pretty long leaves, two on each side of the flower stem. Then you can add any kind of detail that you want. Maybe a bug, a bee or a butterfly. Maybe a ladybug on one of the petals or the leaves. It's up to you because you are the artist, so you make your own creative choices. Once we're all done with the drawing, we're going to go on to color these things in. We're going to use pink crayon for the moccasin or the slipper part. Then we're going to use a green crayon for the stem and the leaves. The middle of your flower or the circle can be any color that you want. In a real lady slipper it's usually a yellowish color or a pinkish yellow in the center. You can add some grass if you would like. And then we're ready to paint. You get to decide if you want a blue sky or maybe you want to add kind of a sunset sky. It is up to you. Paint the sky at whatever time of day that you would like. When I paint, I like to go around things and then I paint them in. It's like giving your drawing a force field that protects it from the paint actually accidentally going inside. 
beautiful job. I can't wait to see your amazing lady slipper creations. Once you're done, you can choose to color the back of your drawing guide and take it home.